Starship's next launch gets pushed back a bit. The Falcon workhorse picks up the slack and Merka returns to the moon. I'm Kevin, and this is another brief episode of SpaceX in the News. On February 16th, Starship Super Heavy 2810, still stacked on the pad from last week, conducted another wet dress rehearsal, but like the previous one, it too was ended early. Causing a need to destack the vehicle just two days later, Ship 28 was then moved to the adjacent test stand where it sits to this day. Meanwhile, Booster 10 was also deplatformed and moved back to the construction site. So Test Flight 3 definitely won't be happening this month after all. Actually, Elon said during a recent Spaces interview on X that they are now targeting sooner than March 8th for liftoff. I think we've, I don't want to jinx it, we have faith here, but I think the probability of reaching orbit is, is good, um, probably 80%. 70-80% with this third flight. It's certainly the third flight is a much better rocket than flights one or two. So you can't have too much luck in a rocket launch. Getting ready to do flight three probably in about, um, I guess the second week of March. Like normally it's like March 8th. We're trying to get it to be sooner than March 8th, but uh, my guess is it happens sometimes in some point in the, in the first half of next month. Uh, and then flight four is ready shortly thereafter. So April it is. The FA also stated SpaceX is aiming for no less than nine Starship launches this year. Personally, I'd count my blessings if they hit four and a half. On Thursday night, Falcon 9 placed 22 more Starlink satellites in low Earth orbit from Slick 4 East at Vandenberg Space Force Base, California. Upon a first stage booster flying for its 19th time, which landed on the Of Course I Still Love You drone ship swimming in the Pacific. A couple days earlier on Tuesday, Falcon also gave a lift to Telcom Sat Mariputa 2 to geosynchronous transfer orbit from Slick 40 Florida marking the 300th successful mission for the Falcon fleet. But it was this particular rocket's 17th mission, which landed on Just Read the Instructions, bobbing on the Atlantic. Last week, we went over Falcon's launch of Intuitive Machines' lunar lander. Well, on Thursday this week, she touched down at the lunar south pole despite some communication issues. The first time in more than half a century since America went to the moon. What we can confirm, without a doubt, is our equipment is on the surface of the moon, and we are transmitting. So, congratulations, IM team. We'll see how much more we can get from that. That's it for today. Welcome to the weekend. Until next time, Godspeed.